still print everything. I moved to MP Uptown because as a black business owner, I want to be in North Minneapolis and help provide jobs. At MP Uptown, we pay above living wages, hire people who have made mistakes in the past, and believe in social justice. We have over 175 Google reviews with a five-star rating. Let us handle your next print project because when you support our business, you support the community. Call 612-870-0777 or visit mpuptown.com. That's mpuptown.com. We print everything. Greg Bakken here. Like you, I love good, fresh, delicious food. So I want to tell you about this treasure in Roseville called Maverick's Real Roast Beef. Maverick's has the best roast beef sandwiches I've ever had. Made fresh every order. Add fries or onion rings dropped in the fryer when ordered, and you have a winning combination. Maverick's Real Roast Beef has a lot more than roast beef, so check out their website, maverick'sbeef.com, or check out their restaurant on Lexington in Roseville. With a look at your AM 950 weather, I'm Patrick Lilia. Tonight, cloudy with a low of 48, then clearing skies on Thursday with a high of 69. Vinaigrette can add the perfect complement to your next home-cooked meal. Taste test their wide selection of oils and vinegars, and they'll bottle it for you right on the spot. Vinaigrette is located at 50th and Xerxes in South Minneapolis. Check them out at vinaigrettemn.com. Portions of the following program may be pre-recorded. The views expressed and the opinions given by the individual host, guest, random reptoid, or chupacabra may not necessarily reflect those of AM 950 Radio, its affiliates, or its sponsors. Now, it's time to step into the unknown. There are things people experience but never talk about. A shadow moving in the corner, flickering of the lights, a disembodied voice, we invite you to talk with us, share your story, share your experience, because this isn't just your story. This is our story. This is Ghost Box Radio with Greg Bakken. And this is Ghost Box Radio on AM 950, where every night we talk about the paranormal, ufology, Bigfoot, and so much more. My name is Greg Bakken. Thank you very much for joining me on this midweek Wednesday evening. It's, uh, it's always uh, fun as we do twice a month. Uh, we have on Psychic Medium, Deb, Refined Divine. We're going to be doing one question readings tonight. Make sure that you start getting your questions in the comments. As we say every uh, every week that we have her on, you get to the top of the line, to the front of the line. If you call in, 952-946-6205. Once again, that's 952-946-6205. And before we bring on Deb, I also just wanted to say hello to uh, Mr. Adam back over in Eden Prairie. How are you doing tonight? Doing well tonight, Greg. Actually very tired, but doing very well. So it's very nice to have Deb on because uh, she'll keep me awake. Trust me. <laughs> for, for the people who are calling for maybe other things that might happen during... Uh, the course of the and broadcast. Also, also, the answers. There are a couple of them that she's had since we've had her on that are just like insanely deep. And you, even when she's talking about what she's getting, I, you know, it's like you get the chills. It's like whenever somebody tells you a paranormal story that they are 100%, you know, behind and you listen to it, you get that chill feeling. And there's a few of those where she's come through with answers. There's like, oh, yeah, this is a night. This, she's strong tonight. Yeah, no, it's, it's been it's been so much fun to and, and actually an, an honor. And I'm, I really mean that to be a part of like hearing those responses and stuff. And I, I just absolutely love it. Before we get to Deb, though, you've had a pretty big week as well, haven't you? Yeah. So Monday evening, I'm home doing my normal thing. I'm about to sit down to watch wrestling like I do on a Monday. Yep. And all of a sudden, a knock on my door. My three best friends from high school that we haven't been together, the four of us, in 25 years are at my doorstep from Indiana. Between my wife and my buddy Dave, they were able to coordinate without me figuring out my buddies Dave, Richie, and Shane driving up from Indy. And we've spent, like, since Monday night until a couple hours before I came in here, we've been together the entire time now. And it was great. We took in a ball game, uh, took them to a couple of... Um, eateries one of them being mavericks they loved oh, it they don't mm -hmm. have one in indiana they absolutely loved it also yeah. took them to the loon 
So oh, I had to take him gosh. to a famous bar. And then I had to take him to Kieran's. I had to give him show him a little bit of the Irish flair of the cities. Oh my gosh, boy, those are places apart from Mavericks, those are places I haven't been in a very long time. I used to uh, uh the Loon being right across from where I worked uh, when I was downtown. I've uh, mm -hmm. been there many a times, sometimes even during the day having drinks when I probably should have been working, but that's a whole other story. Uh, you know, I think the flaw that would have been if someone tried to do what what Danielle did for you is that the, the, I was just thinking to myself, the knock on the door, I don't answer my door. <laughs> I could I could have I could have like long lost friends, people coming back from the dead coming to see me and they'll like be knocking on the door, ringing the doorbell, and I'd be hiding somewhere in my house. I don't I don't I don't do any of that. So see, that's uh, where I'll answer the door, but I don't keep a welcome mat in in front of either of our doors because you have to invite a vampire in and I'm not gonna do that. Right. Absolutely. And it looks like we've already got the phone ringing here, so I'm going to have to let you go to get to Deb to answer this. No problem. Let's bring in Deb now. And uh, Deb, how are you doing? My goodness. Great. How are you guys tonight? Oh, my gosh. You know, everyone seems to be in a really good mood um, and everything's going really well. You've had a pretty big day as well, haven't you? Yes, I've been channeling for the last seven hours, so we're hot and ready to go tonight. Yeah, you're just all revved up, and 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 Dave seems to be in a very good place, and just I mean, no one asked how I was doing, but I'm in a very good place too. You so. look great, Greg. Yeah, I think I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, you know, we we want to hear uh, from people once again. I'm going to say if you want your reading like to be to the front of the line, give us a call nine five two. 946-6205, 952-946-6205. We will get the comments, but we do uh, streamline it to the front. I will say before we get too far into this, that uh, once again, Deb is not answering questions about health. Like if you if you got a, a boo boo, we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about it. Uh, politics, we're not gonna talk about legal advice. Deb is not a lawyer. Just uh, making sure everyone understands this. But you know what? Let's have a fun night. And if you have any questions, uh, print them in. And that's where we're going to go right now. We're going to go to the phone. We got Michelle on the line. Michelle, how are you doing tonight? Welcome to Ghost Box Radio. I get to be first. Hi. You Hi. are first. Hi, Michelle. What, what you got I for us? You. So my question here is, so a couple of days ago, I got like a message from a man named Luke Bryan. Is is this real? No. It's not? No. Okay. It's fake. Somebody's okay, posing. That works. Uh-huh. Somebody's posing. Okay. Posing as somebody else. Yeah. Okay. I got it. Okay. Sorry. That's it. That's all I got. I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Thank you for the call. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thank you yeah. for the call. Really appreciate it. Uh, we go over, and once again, we're doing one question readings, one question psychic readings with uh, psychic medium Deb, Refined Divine. Uh, you can uh, go and uh, see uh, what she can do for you. You can go over to uh, refineddivinepsychic.com. Uh, not only are you able to schedule time with her for personal readings, but you can also see the classes that she's offering as well as retreats and everything else. Uh, we are going to go to uh, Jenny in the comments. And Jenny uh, asked the question, what do I need to know about Mike? Um, when I look into the energy of Mike, it feels like that this is somebody that isn't completely honest or like maybe you're not being honest it feels like whatever energy there is between the two of you there needs to be communication of the truth and the truth needs to be spoken um you know bluntly so you need to talk about the standards of the communication between the two of you and what you're actually both looking for it just looks like a lot of confusion between the energy between the two of you so just making sure that we're talking um fully and completely about what we actually want out of this that's interesting. You know, I, I, you know, and, and, and Jenny, I hope that, that, uh, 
that resonates and helps for you. You know, I find it interesting too that, you know, for Jenny to ask that question, you would assume that Jenny kind of felt something, right? That she kind of like, there is something yeah. that I need to kind of, uh, you know, and get it like that, get that extra like nudge to kind of help her understand uh, the situation. You know, as uh, we're waiting for more uh, questions to uh, come in, have you added any new classes or anything? Or is there anything that you want to kind of uh, let people know about that they should be checking out at your site? Sure. So this weekend, um, actually, we're going to be at the Cranberry Lodge in Toma. We're at a holistic fair with the Rooted um, Holistic and Wellness Fairs. And I, my gallery is at 115, where I am going to take people through a meditation with the, my sound bowls and shamanic drumming and i teach you how to tap into your higher self and to teach you how to do a little channeling session there and how to do it in a good way where you are grounded and protected and centered and i teach a little bit about like how everybody has abilities and how you can find those and then i come out and i do a, a crossing over gallery where i talk to people that are on the other side and also your spirit guides and angels it's an absolutely wonderful time and uh, that sounds great. I saw, I actually saw that uh, that was happening. Uh, and that's, that's going to be, I think it sounds like that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I can't wait. Um, it's going to be a, a great, it's a new town for us. Um, mm -hmm. We have never been there. So it seems like there's a lot of interest and I'm, I'm really excited. Our next one day retreat also, Greg, is uh, June 16th. Okay. So we're doing one day retreats now um, to make them more affordable and less time that people have to take off work because we know everybody's so busy. So we do one day retreats and we're running a special right now. It's $100 for the whole day of healing. And we go out to Kinstone, which is a beautiful rock garden, stone hedge grounds. And it's very sacred and it has so much beautiful energy there. We've had such great results with having our one day retreats out there. That's that sounds great. And a hundred dollars for a one day retreat is uh very, very affordable. That's that's yes. fantastic. Yes. That is that's gonna be really good. Now I'm I'm taking a look here and I find it very interesting. Um I I, I want to read two I'm kind of switching around, I'm I'm kind of jumping around, which is unusual for me, but I find this very interesting. Uh Danielle asked the question Hi Deb, is something someone trying to block me from opening the doors again? Okay, so when I look into that energy, Danielle, what it, what that looks like to me is that you're tapping back into your abilities and trying to like get back into like your spiritual self. Is this correct? And Danielle, please answer, or or Deb won't let go. <laughs> correct. <laughs> <laughs> yes, she says yes. yes. Okay. Yep. And so when we're doing this and when we're opening those doors, um, only you are opening those doors. Remember that it's you restricting you. We have complete and utter control over our um, physical senses, our emotional senses, our thoughts, and our psychic abilities. So always knowing that we are foremost the first person in charge. And when we want to give power away and saying that somebody else is in charge, this is when we can invite energies in. So we always know, first and foremost, that we are always in charge of this, and this is is up to us. Yeah. Now, the reason why I wanted to read there is because uh, I jumped down and I see Michelle asked the question, had asked the question, am I being blocked by someone or at a plateau in my growth spirituality? And the reason why I wanted to put those two together is I'm, I'm, you know, just kind of wondering if there's some sort of, if there was some sort of uh, thing that was happening, you know, kind of just like a phase or something that some people are, are, are running up and against walls, so to speak. And actually, Greg, right now I've had a lot of readings where people are coming to me and saying they feel like they're not connected to their guides and they're not hearing their angels and they feel like that they're not very spiritually grounded in, in what they used to be. It feels like they're not as spiritual as they once were, but that's just not true. It's an understanding that it's a remembering of it. And when we evolve and we go bump up to that next level sometimes we'll feel stagnant or we'll feel like that we aren't as connected as we once were but actually what's happening is you're getting ready to level up and that's exactly what i feel with michelle is she's ready to bump up so we're just at this growth period right now that feels kind of stagnant and you're getting ready to go just wait honey hold on to your britches we're gonna go 
and and you know I, I you know I you know I don't want to turn this into infomercials or anything, but I mean truly, if this is something somebody wants to do, they want to be able to th that th they don't want to plateau, they want to go to the next level. Surely that's going to be the point where you're going to want to look into like classes or something that yeah. helps move you on, right? Yeah, and Michelle actually takes classes. Yeah, Michelle does not miss. Um, this Michelle that is talk asking about our spiritual sure. growth. Um, I, isn't it? Is it yeah, her? Yeah, it feels sure, like sure. her. It feels like her energy. Yeah. Um, I can't see her, but I can feel her. Um, so I feel like she's the one that she never misses. She always comes. And so she's just at this point that she's just ready to pop over the edge and just ready to jump into the next um, stage of evolution and her spiritual growth. And so she does. And she is doing the work. And my God, she has changed light years since she started classes. Is is it, and she and and she's writing. It is it is her. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, I I think the thing that I I'm curious about when it comes to that is that when when you like she's ready, she's ready to bump. Is there some sort of like inner like uh, child or something in you when you're at that stage that you're like maybe you're at like the edge of the the, the diving board and you're you're kind of even subconsciously you're not ready to take that jump yet or you're 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 not sure what that means and that kind of complicates things a little bit even if you yourself are like i'm ready that's exactly right greg because it's the worthiness oh it's yeah the worthiness and and so we have to understand and know that our worthiness is that just that understanding that we're worth it and you know i always make the joke baby let me show you i'm worth it let me show you how to work it you know like <laughs> but that it's just so true like letting that out and just doing it you know just being a part of that and letting that growth happen and not being afraid to show it and as soon as you hear those downloads or you're getting the guide messages or the angels and we're just letting that come out of our mouth and we're just being one with it and it's just who we are and knowing that's just who we are and not second guessing it and just allowing that buff to flow out whenever it needs to and and you know i think for myself and i'll only speak for myself not anyone on here who is you know trying to figure out what their what their path is you know, I tend to kind of think about also like imposter syndrome a little bit, you know, that the idea of like uh, that uh, we are worthy. Every one of us are worthy. Every one of Absolutely. us deserves to have our gift. But at the same time, there is a bit of like, I'm unsure, you know, what people are going to say or think or, you know, you start worrying about what other people are thinking opposed to what you need to be doing yourself. Yes, absolutely. And so it's always about those eyes. I always tell my students, Face those eyes inner. Always look at yourself. Yeah. Don't look out here. Looking out here isn't going to get you anything in here. You know, you always have to look interior to see where you are on a level, a playing field where you understand, like, where am I going to go with this? What do I want to inspire myself to do? Because remember, if you aren't doing it for you, then why the hell are you doing it? You have to understand that it's about you and only you. So if you're doing it for others and you're doing it for attention or not doing it because you don't want to be seen or don't want attention or don't want people to see you, then that isn't following our true path. So always understanding that our true path is going to always be about us. And so always analyzing that about self. Absolutely. When, you know, uh, we have people, we have a lot of comments coming in. Keep them coming, folks. Once again, if you want to get to the front of the line, you call in 952-946-6205. We're going to take our first break. We have Emily on the line. We'll get to her after uh, we come back. Uh, feel free, folks, to call in, get in the queue, and we'll, we'll get to you. It's a fun night. I love these nights. So we're going to do more with uh, Psychic Medium Deb, Refined Divine. It's a great night. One question readings. You're listening to Ghost Box Radio on AM 950. Reach your highest level of consciousness and well-being with MetamorphosisConnections.com. MetamorphosisConnections.com is an online directory of the best holistic and metaphysical practitioners to help you make your most informed choices. You can search MetamorphosisConnections.com for classes, events, wellness and life coaches, plus metaphysical products and shops. You can also search for a wide array of healers from all modalities, including EFT, sound healing, energy healing, light therapy, ancestral healing, shamanic healing, reflexology, past life regressions, hypnotherapy, yoga, and more. And if you're not sure where to start, the search feature on metamorphosisconnections.com is tailored to help both those who know what they are looking for and those who are just starting. 
Come explore the possibilities for your higher self by visiting metamorphosisconnections.com. Their experienced practitioners can guide both beginners and those that are already on their spiritual journey. That's metamorphosisconnection.com, your link to direct you on your spiritual transformation. Have you ever met someone who not only can help you on a deep spiritual level, but also potentially change your life? Refined Divine is an extremely gifted psychic medium who travels the nation and lives right here in the Midwest. And she offers mediumship, mentorship, house and business parties, energy healing, palm readings, and so much more. Refined Divine has helped thousands and she can help you. Hi, this is Psychic Medium Deb. I cannot wait to hear from you. You can go to refinedivinepsychic.com. We know you value buying local, especially when it comes to your magical supplies. So if you're looking for grimoires, decks, jewelry, candles, or herbs that are locally sourced, then come on down to Megas Books and Herbs. Curated for your ritual, ceremonial, spiritual, and spell work needs, we've got all the tools to make your working extra. So make that prosperity ritual one that keeps on giving by visiting us at 1848 Central Avenue Northeast in Minneapolis or visit us online at megasbooks.com. Greg Bakken here. I've told you about the out-of-the-world roast beef sandwiches at Maverick's Real Roast Beef, but I haven't told you about their Philly steak sandwiches, turkey bacon avocado sandwich, BLT, crispy chicken, fish sandwiches, brisket, or pulled pork. Okay, you get the idea. They make a lot of delicious food to the same standard as their famous roast beef sandwiches, and now I'm starving. I'm going to go to Maverick's Real Roast Beef off Lexington and Roseville, and you need to go too. Check out their menu at maverick'sbeef.com. And Adam, before we get back to Deb, I just got to say, because I have Simeon up on my end, they don't make it easy for you, do they, to find to follow what commercials are going to be running uh, during our show. It's a kind of a, a bit of a let's let's kind of guess and see, isn't it? It really is. So on Fridays when the camera is on me, I guarantee people just see me leaning over, staring at that screen. And that's what I'm doing. I'm the, the, looking at the commercial lineup. The <laughs> best is the best is the one that is uh, that says it's one second in length yeah. uh, that clearly wasn't. And it had no name to it whatsoever. It's nope. like it's like it's, I don't know if it's like, is it a game that we're tr we're playing an internal AM 950 game that we're playing here and that uh, or is uh, because the Magus spots rotate and they just don't know which one is which. So magically, <laughs> the Magus books appear. Yeah, that was. Uh, oh gosh. Yeah, I saw that one, too. So it's like, OK, so two breaks two spots Mavericks and go, Oh, here's Magus. Okay. We got another 30. <laughs> I, and, and it's interesting. Cause it's one that we don't rotate during the show actually that often. So yeah. I, I was really, it's, it's confusing. I'm confused by it, but uh, you know, whatever. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just, I'm just the, the, the cadaver that's trying to keep the show going and you're the other cadaver. So, you know, well, Quincy Emmy is, you know, expecting both of us right now. <laughs> How many people are how many people are getting that right now? I don't know, but I, mean, uh, I don't care. I loved that show. <laughs> I, did, I did. I did too. And he was such a ladies' man too. Remember he that too? Oh God, yeah. I want. I that's why I wanted to be a medical medical examiner at one point. It's like, wow, Quincy gets it. <laughs> yeah, I don't quite think that's how it works in real life, but no. Uh, but I think that would be a fun future show: medical examiners and their paranormal experiences. Yeah, well, we know enough people. We we got to do that. Uh, we are having a great conversation tonight and we're doing a we're doing a lot of fun things tonight here we have on uh, psychic medium deb refined divine once again uh not only are we doing one question psychic readings with her tonight but you know as i say every time that deb is on this is just the appetizer to a full reading really if you want to know what's going on you're going to want a full reading you can go to her site refinedivinepsychic.com schedule reading check out the classes just it's going to be great i mean there and you can also see the retreats we just talked about a one day retreat that is coming up on uh you said june 16th right deb yep. yeah and it's and these are things that i know you all eat up you know i know that this is stuff that you are very interested in so definitely uh do so like i said we're doing one question readings here uh we got a lot of people in the comments i'm very grateful for that thank you very much we'll get to as many as possible we'll try not to talk as much about quincy me and get to the <laughs> questions um but uh also once again you get to the front of the line if you call in 952 946 
six two zero five. Who and uh, I didn't know what you're pointing to at first. But it's a phone number, aren't you? You're pointing to the phone number. See, I'm, I'm, I'm following. I was being, I was being that, you know, Vanna. You are, and that's that's a stid. And I, I was a very poor Pat Sajak, so you know that's that's how that goes. Let's actually go to the phones right now. Emily is on the line. Emily, how are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm good. It's just little old me. Wow. Uh, so, uh, like, what what can we do for you tonight, Emily? Honestly, I just wanted to tell Deb. I called two weeks ago, and I just wanted to tell her that she was totally right um, about what she had said. Because I I um, I don't even remember what I asked, but she had told me because I was feeling dizzy and stuff like that, and she had told me that I was kind of on the precipice of leveling up, and she was totally right. I've had a crazy week. And it's been amazing. So, Deb, you're amazing. Thank you. Yeah, you're so welcome. You know what we need to do? And I can't wait to take a class. I am so excited. Are you going to take one? I am, yeah. Oh, how how fantastic. That is great hey, news. Hey, Emily, why don't you just send me a message on Refined Divine, and I'll send you the link, and you come to free up. You come free on Monday. On mo This coming Monday? Yeah. That's amazing, girl. Thank you. I will. Yeah, send me a message. I'll send you the link, and you can come on free on Monday and, and check it out. Here, here's oh the thing. God. Okay. Here's here's the thing, Emily. Okay, I think I think this is well deserved because you use the word precipice, and I think well, and I think what when people and I was use, impressed. <laughs> absolutely, and I think what happens when people use big words. I think for now on, I'm just going to do this. And that's how we know that someone it's used a big word in the show. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Those big not. words aren't going to be coming from me. <laughs> yeah, right. We need we and then you'll have to tell us what that word meant. So, uh, but uh, yeah, that's that's fantastic. Anything else in your mind, Emily? No, I just wanted. I just really, really wanted to say thank you, and um, you know, everybody should call in because it really is amazing. I couldn't. I couldn't believe it. That's just incredible. Thank Very you cool. so much. Thank you for calling in. You, you see, folks, it's fun to call in. Call in, get get. You can talk to uh, uh, Deb directly. And is that a better way, anyway, to kind of have that connection, Deb? Um, I like it because I like to hear their voice. Does it matter? No, because I'm completely clairvoyant. Right. So I can tap into any energies. It doesn't matter like how you give me the energy. I can tap into it through message or like you just tell me who it is or, you know, somebody on the other side. All you have to do is tell me their name and I can usually pick up on who they are. So it doesn't really matter. But I like talking. You know, I love hearing their voices, too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, uh, once again, folks, if uh, we got a lot, of, I'm going to get to a lot of questions here. But if you want to get to the front of the line, give us a call 952-946-6205. We're going to go back to the comments section. Joanne asked the question. She's asked a couple times in this uh, tonight. So thank you for your patience, Joanne. Uh, she just wants to know, uh, can you see a loved partner soon? She's looking for a connection. And so um, when we look into this, they said to us that we've answered this before. Is that correct? Okay. Um, so they say to us that the answer is still the same, um, that they need you to be proactive and they want you to get yourself out there more and to be looking. Because remember, like, we, remember, like, we, women are like little peacocks. They have to put their little feathers out and do the little fancy dance, right? Because when we think of partnership, we have to draw them in. So women like to get pretty and be beautiful and like spread our wings and say, here I am. And so we always just have to be doing that so that we are actively saying to the universe, I'm ready. And so that's what they just keep saying to me is to be like, hey, I'm ready. Yeah, absolutely. And it's something we always talk about, right? Doing the work. Yes, there's only absolutely. So, there's only so much that, uh, that, you know, there's literally only so much you can do. I wish um, I had a magic wand, but I do not. Absolutely. So, I mean, and it's, you know, and, and, and wishing, and, and I'm, I'm not, I'm not coming down on you, Joanne, please know that. But I think it's, it's a general thing for a lot of people that I personally, I'm not speaking for Deb, but I personally have seen in all my years of, of working these type of programs, people are, are looking, you know, wishing is a great part of it, but it's, it's, it's the smallest part of it. So, um, you know, hopefully that you're able to to do what you need to do to get what you want because I I I I know I know how badly you want it. Let's put yeah. it. Yeah, Joanne, are you on the dating apps? 
Can you can can you answer that, uh, Joanne? Please. Uh, she uh, wrote, "Oh my, lol." I don't know if that was to your question or to <laughs> to whatever. She's like, "Oh my." Joanne, go on my dating apps. She's she is she says no. She is not. She needs to go on the dating app. So it's going to be easier for her because she's on her phone a lot. So and that's not a, that's not a dig. They just totally showed me that she's like connected here, and so um, that's where she's going to find him, and that's what they just showed me. So that seems like a perfect fit then. That's a perfect fit. Yep. Got it. Got it. And it, it's tough because it can be a cesspool, but it doesn't have to be. I always tell people, make sure to do the paid version. You know, yeah. if you go on like eHarmony.com and I should get, you know, total <laughs> benefits for, you know, saying eHarmony all the time because right. I use it all the time. Um, I and Dave found each other on a paid site. And, uh, you know, we've been together for five years and it's just magical. I mean, just ask me, I'll tell you. Um in so many ways than you could possibly imagine. <laughs> so you can definitely find somebody on there because I did, but always doing the paid sites because you have to fill up that application and it takes a long time to do that. So anybody who isn't really in it to win it, isn't going to take the time to fill that out. No, no. And that's, that's just it. I think that's very good. And I, apart from you and Dave, I've known other people who have, who have found their, their partner through paid sites and yes. it, it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing. It's not a bad word. It's, it's, but you, you have to, you know, it, it gives us that little jump start, doesn't it? And then you yes, take care of the rest. They, they, when people invest money, it show it shows their worth. Like money is like worth for people exchange of energy. But if they're going to put the money and time into the effort of finding somebody, then that says to us that they mean it. Absolutely. Very much so. Uh, once again, we're doing one question readings with uh, psychic medium, Deb, refined divine. Once again, if you are getting great messages from Deb, but you need more and you should get more because this is just the, the tip of the iceberg, schedule a reading over at refined divine And uh, uh, Joanne says, how do you date at 61? You just do. You just do. That's how that works. You're worthy. Everybody's worthy. You just yep. do it, darling. There's men on there. Trust that 70 years old. They were trying to pick me up with it on that eharmy.com. <laughs> All Every, ages. Everybody deserves happiness. That's right. Um, even Adam. And, uh, you know, you're not going to find me saying that too often. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Adam. Come on, Adam. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> He just, he, I could, I could, I don't see him, but I could feel his head just shaking back and forth uh, at the station. Uh, Linda Judd does say, uh, getting ourselves ready to be in that relationship is a matter of self transformation. Ooh, big word. I'm sorry. Transformation is not a big word. You do not, you do not get any air horn. Okay. I'm just going to be very honest. It's, that's not, a, it's just not willy nilly over here with the air horn. Once again, <laughs> you can call in if you want to get to the front of the line, 952 946 6205. We go to that line right now and we talk to Heather. How are you tonight, Heather? I'm doing great. How are you guys doing tonight? Doing well. Uh, what you got for uh, Miss Deb? Well, Deb is right as always. Last time I had asked a question on this show, uh, I was talking about a work trip I had coming up. And today I received a second promotion offer um, where Friday they're going to give me all the details, but Deb has been told me I'm inspired to lead people and here it is now happening. Yay! So, Congratulations. Deb. Yay! I'm so, so effing proud have of you, Heather. I'm this way to go, but yes, I don't think I will, will go a bad way regardless. I think my intuition will take me where I needed to go, but I had to let you know spot on. I am so happy for you. That's fantastic. Congratulations. Oh, <laughs> Thank you. That's, that's great. No, that is that is cool. And I think that's a great example, and not to put words into Heather's mouth, but that's an example, I think, of of understanding that you are worthy of happiness. You are worthy of being able to get to and attain those levels and those goals that you want, right? Absolutely. Yeah, it's just a lot of work and a lot of, like, not doubting myself, which then helped me along that way. So appreciate it. So I'm any guidance for which one to choose, but at the end of the day, I don't think either one will be a bad choice. That's fantastic. That's great. Thank you very much for the call, Heather. Really appreciate it. Thank and you. and and Joanne, just just you know, take take some of that and 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 give it to yourself and and uh, let her rip. Yes. It, 
age is a number. It truly is. I do believe that. And and I will just I'll just leave that right there. Uh, let's see here. Uh, once again, we, we're taking questions. If you want to get to the front of the line, you can call in 952-946-6205. I'm trying to see where we uh, left off here because I want to make sure I get in everybody as possible. I've been I've been jumping around uh, quite a bit. Tiffany had a question and her question is, is my stepdad being catfished, scammed over the computer? Okay. First, I just wanted to say, um, I just love that people are calling in and talking about their, their last readings and how yeah. it benefited them because I don't usually get that. Like yeah. I do my readings and then, you know, it just is what it is. And, and I give my time and I just, I just know that everything's going to work out for it. But I love hearing that. Don't you, Dave? Dave's over here. Got tears in his eyes. Oh, <laughs> he's, he's like, just a big softy over there. That's his problem. <laughs> Okay, Tiffany. Um, so when I look into this energy, um, when I look at your father, he looks like that he really just wants love and he feels like he wants to be loved. And when I look into his heart, it feels like he has quite a bit of sorrow. And that is something that some people really do look for when we're being catfished or scammed. Um, it looks like there's money being given. Is this correct? If you can, if Tiffany, you're still with us, if you can answer, please. We're just waiting if she can, because hopefully she's still with us. Um, yeah, it, it feels it feels like um, it's a pull for money and a pull for attention and a pull for. Um, and and so Tiffany is saying yes, he is sending her gift cards. Yes, it's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're correct, Tiffany. Remember, man, your gut screaming it. It you feel yeah. it. And, you know, and I can feel you. You just want to just scream to the top of the earth because it's your father. And um, as you should, as you should. But he really just wants to be loved. Like he just feels like he just really wants to be loved. There's a lot of sadness in his heart. So getting him out and getting him like into, um, you know, real life situations, communities, bingos, poker. Um, I'm seeing hand cards, 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 you know, take him out to play some cards. Absolutely. To get, so, so basically don't give him a, don't give him a reason to feel lonely that he has to put to, to, uh, to pay someone actually in a sense. Correct. Let's give him a reason to be inspired without that. Let's get him into community. Um, the first thing that I do with people who are feeling lost, especially with parents and grandparents, I let them find back a purpose and then I help them find a passion and then we mix it with the people. The three P's, I call it. Sure. And uh, and uh, Tiffany says, uh, thank you for all your help, and you're spot on with him right now. You're welcome, Tiffany. I hope I hope that gets turned around, because it, it, is, it is horrible. Yeah. And it, it really feels like going and playing cards would be his thing. So I'd find like a, you know, they have tons of places where they get together and play cards, um, older men. Euchre. Absolutely. Yeah, euchre and poker and. Mm -hmm, mm hmm. Yeah, no. And I, I hope I hope that gets turned around for him. Uh, let, why don't we go ahead and do this? Uh, there's a lot of uh, questions still in the comments. But once again, if you want to get to the front of the line, just give us a call. 952-946-6205. 952-946-6205. We're going to take our next break. When we come back, we're going to get to more of the questions and anything else that's on everyone's mind. You're listening to Ghost Box Radio on AM 950. Are you one of thousands of individuals who know you have psychic abilities but don't know how to tap into your higher self? Refined Divine is an extremely gifted psychic medium who offers classes that can help you reach your goal. Refined Divine holds classes Monday and Thursday at our two locations and via Zoom. Classes consist of manifestation, learning psychic abilities, shadow work, and healing trauma. Refined Divine has helped thousands, and she can help you. This is Psychic Medium Dev. You can go to refinedivinepsychic.com. Need a stone to change your luck or break a curse? Try Larvikite, known for its hex-breaking powers. Need an herb to repel negative spirits? Try Rue, used to repel demons and gin. Want to create a decoy so black magic can't touch you? Make a witch bottle. For more magical advice, visit Magus Books in Minneapolis. We've got the tools and the expert advice you need to succeed against the dark arts. Find us at 1848 Central Avenue Northeast in Minneapolis or at magusbooks.com. 
If you own a holistic or metaphysical business and are looking to expand, then you need to be listed on metamorphosisconnections.com. It's a network where you can grow with like-minded practitioners and reach new clients. Metamorphosisconnections.com is an online directory you need to list yourself and your business. Our platform makes it easy for you to create listings of your products and services, and you can also choose to list your classes, events, and so much more. MetamorphosisConnections.com helps you create weekly and monthly promotional ads targeted towards your potential clients and promotes them for you via social media and newsletter. There are clients searching for your specialty right now. Let us help them find you. Start your listing today so you can share your own unique gifts and talents by finding the level of membership that best fits your needs. Let us help you reach your clients that are searching for what you do. Visit metamorphosisconnections.com and sign up today. With a look at your AM 950 weather, I'm Patrick Lilia. Tonight, cloudy with a low of 48, then clearing skies on Thursday with a high of 69. Vinaigrette can add the perfect complement to your next home-cooked meal. Taste test their wide selection of oils and vinegars, and they'll bottle it for you right on the spot. Vinaigrette is located at 50th and Xerxes in South Minneapolis. Check them out at vinaigrettemn.com. And join me tomorrow at uh, 9 p.m. Central Standard Time on uh, Ghost Box Radio with Greg Bakken Facebook page. It's another episode of Myth or Mystery, and it's a special edition. We are going to have on special guest Nurse, nurse Meg. Uh, she had uh, worked in hospitals. She has a lot of videos, a lot of stories. Uh, just as we were talking about earlier, and uh, it's going to be a very, it's going to be fantastic. She's going to share some of her experiences tomorrow. Don't forget, for those who don't know what Myth or Mystery is, it's a panel that uh, looks at uh, paranormal videos, and we decide what we think, whether it is paranormal or not, but we also leave it to the viewers to uh, go and vote as well. You can do that over at Myth or Mystery Live over on YouTube. It's a fun show. It's going to be great tomorrow. It's something a little bit different. We hope you're able to join us. And then right afterwards, it's uh, a replay of Ghost Box Radio with me. Uh, we have on author Susan B. Martinez. It's a very lively conversation about her book, Field Guide to the Spirit World, The Science of Angel Power, Discarnate Entities, and Demonic Possession. Uh, we actually don't really talk about that book, but it's uh, it's a very lively conversation all the same. And then I have to say that I am um, Adam and I will not be on Friday as well. Uh, we are replaying an episode from uh, November 23rd, 2023, which was about Doctor Who. It's uh, actually Doctor Who is premiering on Disney, and I'm going to a, a party Believe it or not, there are parties of Doctor Who, and um, we're going to do that Friday, so uh, we're not doing a live show. So this is the end of the week for us, uh, apart from replays and Myth or Mystery tomorrow. So, you know, uh, Deb, I'm giving it all tonight. That's that's all. I'm giving it all since it's the last night for me. Big hurrah. Big hurrah. Absolutely. It's Very the last night so. for me, too, Greg. We're going camping for Mother's Day. Is that this Sunday? Yeah. yeah, we're okay. going to take the week weekend and go camping with our family and just start a show on Saturday. That's that's going to be that's going to be a lot of fun. And I know there's people out there right now when I just said it's at this Sunday, they're like, what a monster. He doesn't know <laughs> my, my mom. My mom passed away five years ago. So you don't always remember these things as as well as as well as I would like. Yeah, it's okay. it that way. She uh, understands. <laughs> so we're doing one question readings uh, with uh, psychic medium Deb, refined divine. Uh, once again, as I keep saying, and I really hope that people take us up on this, go to refineddivinepsychic.com so that you can schedule full readings, not just a one question. And uh, also, and there are other ways too, like you can, that you can provide like questions to you, right? And that, yeah. that's, Yep. So we do five question readings too, where if you don't want to be seen or don't want to talk on the phone, you can literally just write me questions and I answer them. We also offer numerology readings. Um, I do palm readings. There's all different kinds of modalities that you can choose from on our Refined Divine page. Very cool. Please go check it out once again, refineddivinepsychic.com. And uh, you can uh, see everything that's going on over there. And there's a lot going on over there. So it's it's really, ex it has to be very exciting, right? We're busy, busy, and we absolutely love it. I wouldn't change it any other way. I literally, every single day, Greg, I get out of bed and I cannot wait to see what happens that day. 
That's it, cool. It's a miracle all day long. It's just a miracle. The people that walk through these doors and the people that get the healing that they need and watching their lives just unfold in front of us is always the, the best feeling in the whole entire world. And that's why I do what I do. That is so cool. Uh, let's get back to some readings. Once again, if you uh, want to get to the front of the line, call in 952-946-6205. We're going to the comments. Nicole asked the question, hi, I'm contemplating contemplating furthering my education. Is now the right time or should I wait? Nicole, are you thinking about um, adding something medical or like something for, further in medical? Is and it Nicole, medical you're in? And if you could uh, answer uh, in the comments, that'd be very helpful. As I scroll away from it, I should probably watch that part of the screen. <laughs> Masters in Healthcare what? Administration. Yes, there it is. Absolutely. Um, they show me you in all white and they show me you just keep excelling. They show me this level up with you because you like this. You don't quit. Like once you start, you finish. But once you finish, you get kind of bored because your brain is always loving to learn. And so they show me you just going to the tippy tippy top, darling. You're not going to stop there. Like you're going to learn and you're just going to keep going. Like I see you as the leader and the person that is the example. And you know what I'm talking about when we talk about that you understand things that are happening shouldn't be and they say to us that voicing that and being at the top of the chain is going to make a huge difference wow that is cool i hope uh, i hope that resonates nicole that's that's really cool and uh i'm just gonna say because i can i went back for my master's a number of years ago and and i look at it not necessarily something that had helped my career per se but it it helped me as a person Your work yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very much so. Let me uh let me go ahead and see uh uh and and Nicole says thank you. Yeah. Uh yeah. let's see here. Uh trying to find uh some some other questions here cuz there's a lot of uh uh people talking. Uh let's see here. Uh Sorry. This is great radio when I'm just silent I'm trying to read. Uh, so okay. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's people trying to come up with bigger words than, uh, oh, fists. They're oh, like, oh, oh, uh Will, oh. William, William is asking about transmutation and you know what, but let me get back to William. Cause I know that William actually did have a question now that I see that. And it kind of reminds me, let's see if I can find William here. Um, there are a lot, I think transmutation gets a horn. Come on now. You know, you you do, you, you, you you do the you do the readings i do the horn it's, that's that, <laughs> that that was the agreement here not not the right so let's see i don't hear transmutation every day do you dave <laughs> all right so for for uh for uh for william there we go there we go now uh william does ask the question any messages from his guides yeah Willie, so it looks like when you are um, getting ready to step forward, they're saying to me that you really are on the cusp. When we were just talking about cusp, this is literally an example of the cusp. You have building yourself up at such a rapid speed in such a short time that they say to us that it's ready for you to take the next step. They know that you're ready, but you need to be ready. And this is that whole your worth. And we're talking about worth earlier. And they're just saying it just this whole night is about worth. And so you stepping in here and you saying this is just another message again about them saying that you need to own your worth and step into your worth and know that you are ready for this. Because because you are you have a grand new adventure coming up and I can feel it it's strong and literally like it's time to get your friction on you know like they are just like so musical with this and they are ready for you to come on in and take that next step in guiding people into the light that's fantastic Absolutely, uh, William I hope that uh, resonates with you uh, kind of moving on picking up the pace a little bit now talking about Quincy Emmy uh, we go to uh, Lene. Lene asked the question, the date uh, 11, 11 97 came to me in a dream. Does it mean anything? Are you in your 40s? And if Lene, if you're still there, please uh, 
answer in uh, in the comments, and then we can then only move on. Um, so <clears throat> let's see. Waiting. Lene says she just turned fifty. Fifty. Join the okay. club. Okay, <laughs> the fifty club. Okay. Yep. Because whatever's happening is they're trying to show me that there was something really significant that happened in your life in this time period. So I was trying to figure out if they were trying to say like that it was you during that time or it happened in that year. Because would they just give me images that I kind of have to snap it together sometimes. And what it looks like to me, Lene, is that that year in that time period, there's something really um, significant that happened that you aren't paying attention to. And so they were trying to get your attention. And it feels like it was like a really big shift in your life. Does this make sense? Uh, Lene, let us know if that makes sense. As we're waiting for she Lene might have to think through that. Sometimes we don't really remember our years, right? They all kind of run together. But um, I want you to go back through and just kind of, you know, look at your pictures and kind of go back through a little bit and sit with that a little bit and see where that resonates. And she says kind of. Yeah, right. Like I felt her like she, it wasn't really hitting. But I really do know that they're just trying to get her to come to that time period because there's something in there that she still needs to address. Yeah, she says it's a long time ago. Yeah, I, I get you, honey. I got you. I know. <laughs> I was a sophomore in high school. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? Um, I I want to kind of uh, move around here, and I'm just trying to see where, because there's some of these that I feel like need to be addressed here. Um, one here is... Um, Christine asked the question, she says, am I cursed so much negativity in my life? Not usually like this. If I have a spirit guide, who is it? Okay, Christina, first off, they, they literally want us to just shout this to the top of the, of the earth for you, that nothing is happening to you, that everything is stemming from you. So they want you to understand that we just need to get into a better space in our life. There's a lot of self-doubting going on and there's a lot of criticism happening. And they say to us that this is a time to reflect. This is a time to reflect. This is a time to sit and look at yourself and really understand who you are and where you are going with your personality and what you want to be in this world. And they say to us that, remember, you cannot experience the light without the dark. So we're supposed to have this polarity. And they're just really saying, just give yourself some time to really just sit with this and understand why we feel negative. You know, getting yourself out into nature is a huge thing for you. Being out there and being with the earth and being with water and the wind and the trees and all of the flowers. I mean, I just see you as like a flower child out there in the middle of the, of the field, just taking it all in. Like that's where you need to go to get back to that authentic you. And they're really just pushing this and hammering this home that you need to understand that the negativity is actually stemming from the thought process there you go that's uh i i hope that helps i i and you know as someone who had just spent the last like 2023 in as my personally for myself and negativity i i hope that uh i hope that helps uh and and christine says yes that is me yeah mm -hmm. and your guides honey are just energetic forces that are around you they don't have names if you want to name them Susie or harry or pete or joe you can but they've never been human so they don't have names they're just energetic sources that are our guides from here to the other side that information stems through absolutely we have about uh just under about almost about two minutes left now should we try to fit in one more yeah Let's uh, go to April here. And April says, I'm looking for a different job. And any guidance as to where to start or what way to go? Yeah. So, April, I really feel like that you have this great love for animals. Is this is this right? April, if you could answer really quick. <laughs> Give us a yes. R rapidly running out of time. Here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, what I'm getting with this, April, I'm just going to go until because we're going to run out of time. I'm just going to go with a yes because I'm yeah. usually never wrong. I mean, there she, yes. she says yes. It's them, not me. <laughs> and so they say to us that you really would benefit from working with animals. And this is something that you used to do when you were little. They say play vet or, you know, um, doctor the animals or help the animals. And you just have such a huge heart when it comes to all animals. And they say to us that why would you waste your time? 
time anywhere else. Because this is what truly makes you happy. And so they're just really pushing you to come on. Let's go with this. That's cool. I mean, that's great. Hopefully, April, that that resonates with you. And once again, folks, if there is something that, uh, you know, th these are just these are just one question being answered. There, there's options for five questions. There's options for full on readings. Uh, go to refinedivinepsychic.com because it's not only just about the readings. It's about the classes, how to tap into your higher self. Uh, April says thank you. Um, and, uh, you know, also the retreats, all of this stuff is you know important and i know most of the people if not all the people who are in the comments tonight you, they're interested in going to that next level i think oh god yes yes i can feel it in here the intensity inside of this chat i could feel all the energy i'm like oh yeah <laughs> absolutely and i always say if you're able to if you're able to do it if take part in it please do so because it's sustainability for the for the time that deb is giving us we need some uh, sustainability given back to her as well so that it's reciprocal. So uh, please consider doing that, going to refinedivinepsychic.com. Deb is going to be back on May 22nd, and we're going to be doing this again. If we did not get a chance to get to everybody tonight, I do apologize. We'll try to keep the Quincy ME conversation to more of a minimum next time, even though it's going to be very hard. Jack Klugman is a favorite of ours. Um, but uh, Deb... Dave, thank you both so very yeah. much. It's always so I, I love these nights. These are so much fun, aren't they? So. Yes, we love them so much. They we we get so much enjoyment out of this. I don't we like don't go to bed till two or three a.m. We're so stoked after this. We're like, whoa, this is great. I, I get it too. <laughs> I, I feel the same way. Hopefully, Adam does as well. Um, it's a lot of fun. We're gonna we're we're out for the rest of the week. It's replays Thursday, Friday. Join us for Myth or Mystery tomorrow. Deb will be back with us May twenty second. Everyone, have a great night. We'll see you later. Bye. Hi, Matt McNeil here. You're listening to the best progressive radio. In